Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday evening, early Sunday evening out here in Northern California. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend out there. It is uh, just about 7 p.m. here, California time. Latest activity here shows some movement across the New Zealand area. Got uh, what looks like a 4.8 earthquake coming in here within the last hour that is up around the, uh, well, looks like the Hikarangi subduction zone here, potentially the northern end. Uh, this is the same region here that just had uh, about three days ago a five pointer up here. So, of course, the subduction zone here extends from about uh, off the east coast here of North Island all the way down south here to the northern tip of the South Island here. Got a major subduction zone that's capable of producing a mega quake. And there's been a lot of earthquake activity here north, a lot of deeper activity underneath this region, and a lot of activity south here uh, towards the Alpine Fault. So, this whole region here super dynamic and uh, well both of these areas could produce a mega quake anytime soon here got to watch that very closely as uh, you know things are things are building up I think uh, in terms of potential uh, large-scale activity in this area also some further movement up north here into Alaska 5.4 along the Aleutian Trench outside of Dutch Harbor Alaska uh, that uh, is actually in another area in between two major regions. Let me show you here real quick what I'm talking about. We've had a number of large events out here. Uh, we've got to go here to the 30 days. Uh, recently, we've had that 7.4 over here across the Curl Camp Chatka, the 7-pointer here. Uh, what, what was it? it was a, uh, what was the exact magnitude? 7.3 there into the Sandpoint, Alaska area. Then we started getting a little swarm over here in between there basically a middle point boundary now we're getting some further activity within this little quiet zone here but closer to the 7.3 that struck here a number of days ago 5.4 again coming in earlier this afternoon a lot of movement hitting up here across the northern edge of the pacific plate also one super deep earthquake underneath the sea of osk earlier today a 4.3 that is 252 miles deep into that uh, underneath this area major subduction zone there the crow cam chatka trench things are definitely starting to pick up out here across the northern areas and it looks like here around japan again as well there's a 4.3 and a couple other quakes there uh, just shy of the nankai trough so let's go over here to the japan meteorological agency and see what they are reporting here today there was a number of earthquakes uh uh, today nothing big but uh, it seems like the magnitudes here are starting to increase 4.6 4.3 all roughly um, well there was one off the uh, east coast there of Japan but uh, yeah it looks like things are starting to kick back up out here across the uh, Pacific Plate uh, pretty good crunch going on here across the Philippines area southward as well got uh, like I say a lot of movement stirring up out here there's a there's a fairly recent 3.4 down there off the Alpine Fault as well Things starting to adjust, and I tell you what, when things move, well, that's when uh, we get the potential, higher possibilities, I think, here, of seeing some larger activity in these locked zones, such as the Alpine or the Hikarangi subduction zone. Pretty quiet out there across Papua New Guinea eastward here along that plate boundary for now. Uh, that, you know, potentially could change, obviously. Um, let's see, South America, typical movement, Middle American Trench as well. Iceland up here, out in the... Uh, fracture boundaries here divergent zone got a couple earthquakes a five pointer and a 3.1 that's uh, uh looks like it's right off the plate boundary here but uh it's been a little while since we've seen the five pointer up there but uh things are on the move out here as uh, i think one could easily see uh northern california west coast region let's see what we got here uh, there's that earthquake from this actually late last night the 4.2 does look like we got uh when was that? That was from last night here. So really nothing new. That's interesting. Let's uh, double check the Cascade or the uh, yeah the Trimmer map out there. Cascadia Trimmer activity here real quick. See what we got here. This is the 27th of July. Got uh, 255 epicenters of Trimmer there across. Uh, well, starting to kick up north and uh, down south here again. Main focus underneath the area of Olympia, Washington. This is not earthquake activity, but. Uh, uh, slow slip events are being recorded into the deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone, building up some steam and momentum. Mount Rainier up there still got some earthquake activity, although 
you know, they're, they're only showing earthquakes there since midnight. There was a handful of earthquakes here yesterday as well that did not get added on, onto the map. Um, so I've just been checking the uh, volcano seismicity map there, the recorded views, and uh, just going by what the data is giving us. And this is just in the last couple hours. Here's a few small spikes in there. Uh, nothing big. There's the uh, earthquake earlier this afternoon. I think they did report that. That was a little 0.9. So nothing big, but there is some smaller quakes out there, and uh, there's numerous. You know, look here. There's numerous quakes here on the seismograph station, and uh, they're only reporting four of them here in the last, you know, technically last 24 hours. So that uh, is not true. There's definitely a lot more, but hopefully they get uh, to that uh, tomorrow morning there in the uh, uh, after the Monday morning meeting there with the USGS. Uh, the rest of California here, fairly quiet. Not seeing any elevated activity out here. Things relatively, uh, well, super quiet. All microquake activity out there. rest of the country, roughly the same here. Does look like, uh, you know, we're definitely seeing some movement uh, stir up out here in this area once again. Number of, uh, number of things are, you know, potentially ready here for some larger quake activity. And it's, it could be, you could spin the globe here and stop on the spot and it could be that location. It's just a lot is built up here in the last, you know, a couple hundred ye of years, some even longer, some even longer, thousands of years across various fault systems there in Southern California, such as the Puente Hills Rust Fault. But, um, uh, yeah, things are on the move, and it looks like it's happening out here across the northern area of the globe right now. So keep an eye here on Japan, the Curl Camp Chatka Trench areas up around Alaska right now. Just a lot of movement and a lot of white rings here indicating a lot of newer activity. Of course, we got the movement down south here as well, so that's why I'm saying it's just a bunch of movement happening. Just got to be prepared out there. Uh, solar flare activity. There is a new region out here on the southeastern limb that's just blowing off a whole bunch of plasma here, shooting off some, uh, it looks like some sea flare activity. It is, that is currently flaring, but uh, it doesn't look like with anything of any major value. Let's see, that's going to be 4161. So I believe that, yeah, 4161 right here uh, is an area to watch here. It does look somewhat complex with a quite a trail of different colors behind that uh, one core here so that's what you want to look for in terms of magnetic complexity that could indicate that we're going to be some uh, be seeing some stronger flares so we'll watch that here in the coming days right now overall flare threat 30 percent chance that's probably about reasonable uh one i'm issuing a one percent chance or less for x flare these guys showing five percent but uh that's what they're showing 99 percent chance for c flare no major roars in the forecast, and that was a complete dud of a aurora forecast here uh, last night. I think they were calling for a G1 class storm. That never materialized. Nothing in the forecast either. As far as uh, severe weather, the remainder of the night got an enhanced area up here across Minnesota, portions of South Dakota there as well. Uh, there is a 5% chance here for some tornado activity. Main threat appears to be some damaging wind gusts and some large hail. Uh, now for the day on Monday, start of the work week. Got a fairly s large area here of slight risk. Looks like a minimal 2% chance for some tornado activity in the green. Main threat tomorrow looks like some more damaging wind gusts there and some large hail associated with those thunderstorms that are firing up there in the afternoon and evening. So just be on guard. Uh, seismograph stations there offline. Hopefully uh, they'll come back up. Either way, keep an eye there on uh, New Zealand. I, it's still, uh, it almost seems like it's bouncing back and forth here between north and south with a lot of movement. But the question is, you know, where is the major adjustment about ready to take place? I'm sure it's going to happen here sometime soon. Um, we've gone an extended amount of time here now since we've had an eight-pointer. Um, and on average, you know, I do like to show this map here. Even though this is two from 2015, on average, uh, we should see an eight-pointer at least once a year. If not once a year, once every other year. And, uh, well, we haven't had an eight-pointer since 2021. So we're going on four years now with no eight-pointer. So I, that's why I say all this elevated activity we've seen here recently. A lot of deep movement up here across the Kirill Kamchatka. I'm 
I'm betting here, you know, that newer deep earthquake right there should trigger further strain out there across that subduction zone. And that's where we've seen that 7.4 here recently. Uh, even though that's backed off in terms of earthquake activity, there's still potential for some larger adjustment in that region. All right. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning. Unless something major happens here. Just decided to do an early update. 7 o'clock here, West Coast time. So I'll probably sit back and watch a movie here with uh, Missy Mimi's and the kids and uh, just call it a night afterwards. And then probably just go to bed. Uh, that's why I wanted to get this update in real quick. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here in the morning. Take care.